for a long time, and he's one of the leading A-list designers who has no size limit when it comes to his magnificent fashions. He's shown off some of them in the new book, God bless me, <laughs> Dresses to Dream About. And honey, when you open it, you'll see you're gonna wanna wear everything. Welcome, Christian! <laughs> So uh, we're coming up on your 10-year anniversary of your line. Yes. Wow. And I, Crazy. I, I, I know that Whoopi was one of your first uh, models, she right? She was, yeah. Okay. Whoopi um, was, like, the first to embrace, which was amazing. And I dressed Aww. her for the Tony Awards. You designed yes. her show, right, her, show, her outfit right Yeah, because she was show. hosting, and it was, right. like, a, a big deal for me. Um, a oh, lot of look. I mean, amazing. That was yeah. pretty. That's gorgeous. Yeah. That was gorgeous. Loved she it. showed her leg. Good that was chic. We're never seeing you Whoopi, like, right? Oh, I you got have good legs. Yeah, great legs. I, I know it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It was great. It was, oh, it was so it was nice. A, such a great experience, and, um, and, and I love doing it. It was a blast. And I hope I get to do more for you. Yes, I think you will. Yeah. <laughs> Our favorite stories here. We know that Leslie Jones is a big fan of yours because, yes. as we all remember, we talked about here on the show, she had an award show and she tweeted out, No one will design for my body. And yeah. you Crazy. tweeted right back, like, I'm in. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't realize how big of a fan. <laughs> She was it's until we saw this clip. <laughs> because she was like a play-by-play. -play. No. What were you thinking? When it you... was amazing. While I was backstage, so first I thought somebody fell down and got hurt because she's <laughs> screaming. She's screaming it so loud, and I'm like, oh, God, the show's over. But then it was like everybody was laughing and exciting, and I, I really just thought she thinks she's like at the Knicks game. Like, I don't think she understands. <laughs> but it was so nice because everyone in fashion is so annoying and annoying and rude. So it was like really nice that it like made the, the everyone like, you know, she's sitting across from Vogue in the New York Times, and like yes. it lifted everyone's spirits. <laughs> Yes. yes. But I don't think she knew that. Um, she was like, baby, I just thought they were your friends. And I was like, <laughs> no. Um, but that made it very genuine. Yeah. And um, yeah. and I love her, and I love making clothes yeah. for her. I dressed her for the Emmys, you know, a few days later. Yeah. And, um, and she's just a great I mean, person. You have models of all shapes and sizes, mm -hmm. backgrounds, genders, walking into shows. Yeah. Why, why has that been important for you or to you? I just think wow. that that's just the world we're living in. I think, you know, it's like such a funny thing that I think people, if you have a hard time getting clothes, that's like so mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. Uh, to me, uh, there's enough kind of hate going on in the world that mm -hmm. I think like getting dressed should be the easy part of the day. Yes. Um, and I always thought, and I think the way that I've shown that on the runway is to really just show everyone. You know, mm -hmm. if it's a boy in a dress or whatever, there are no rules yeah. anymore. Um, and Thanks I don't think we you. should care. Well, I yeah. love it. Yeah. You know, look. I love it. If I get to go to the Oscars, he's gonna dress me. <laughs> Thanks for proving that we His book, Dream, Dresses to Dream About, is available now. We want everybody to have a great day. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Take a little time to enjoy the view and be kind if you can.